Welcome back to Daily Flash. This year marks the 60th anniversary of the tragic death of Hollywood legend Marilyn Monroe. Her death spawned conspiracies and rumors that led all the way to the White House. The Netflix documentary, The Mystery of Marilyn Monroe, The Unheard Tapes, pieces together her final weeks, days, and hours through previously unheard recordings of those who knew her best. With us today is the director and producer of the documentary, Emma Cooper, and Anthony Summers, a journalist and biographer who conducted over 600 interviews to write the book Goddess, from which the documentary is based. And I've seen this documentary. So excited to yes. welcome Emma and Anthony to the show. Fantastic job, this film. It's Thank incredible. You. And I, I am a Marilyn Monroe fan myself, just so everyone at home Look can at see that. it real quick. She's got her got Marilyn, Marilyn shirt on. Shirt on. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, needless to say, I'm, I'm so thrilled to be chatting with you both today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so I would like to start off by asking you both the same question, actually. How did you get involved with the project, and what is the main thing you want people to take away and understand from watching this film? Emma, I'd like to start with you. Well, Tony and I had worked together uh, on another Netflix documentary um, uh, about a, a case of a, of a missing girl, because Tony is a, is a very well-known investigative journalist, as you know. And he was very insistent um, that I read his book about Marilyn Monroe, and I didn't know very much about her. So after a while, I decided to read it, even though it was rather long. Um, and, and I realized that there was a huge amount that I did not know that he had researched and, and investigated mm -hmm. in the early 80s. Um, and, and then um, I realized that he had recorded all of his investigation. Uh, and, I, you know, we realized that there was a fantastic first hand film to be made about Marilyn. That's right. And Anthony, how about you? I mean, you, you put all this work into these tapes. You wrote this book and now it's becoming this thing. Tell me about that. Well, I got into the book originally a long time ago and have now updated it. But I think, as Emma says, what was remarkable is that she, Emma, um, discovered that I recorded virtually all my interviews. I conducted 650 yeah, some amazing. interviews for, for the book. And um, I, I record them because if you're interviewing hundreds of people, it's no use, however good you are at shorthand or scribble. You, you just can't rely for a nonfiction book on, on the, what you've scribbled in the notebook. Right. So I record virtually everything. Wow. And that's also wow. useful for publishers, legal um, advisors, when, right. when a book's come, about to come out. So there were all these audio tapes sitting in a box, never looked at for years, and Emma was able to harvest them. Wow. And, and the result is a large part of the documentary, including numerous interviews that have never been heard by anybody before. And that was absolutely the most fascinating part of it. I mean, Emma, you relied solely on Anthony and these tapes for the structure of the film. You even hired actors to lip sync, which I thought was such an amazing addition to that. How did you decide to take that path? Well, I I didn't go into the film thinking that I would wouldn't interview anybody except from for for Anthony. It's a very unconventional thing to do. And the more I listened to the tapes, I realised that we had the ghosts of the past and we could bring them alive. We had people who know what it is like to reach out and touch Marilyn Monroe, mm -hmm. who know what it is like to be in the same room as such an enigma as Marilyn. And so I decided that the best thing to do was completely allow them to have the film. Yeah. And to have those voices, you know, and, and bring them alive. And the best way to do that was to actually, you know, um, get actors to lip sync the real voices of, of, of the real people and none of whom are, are, are longer alive. Right. And it's so powerful to hear those voices, regardless of there being actors on the screen. We're knowing we're hearing these real right. voices of the real people. Who, as you said, they were in the room. They touched Meryl Monroe. Such a powerful thing. Anthony, have your feelings I, about... I shy yeah. I shied away at first from from using actors. I okay. thought, why would Emma be doing that as a, as a director? But in fact, it's extremely cunningly done, so much so that on occasion, I actually think the actors come very close to what I remember of the people I was oh, wow. interviewing. Wow. That, that's a, a big testimony to the fact of how it transpired across the film. Anthony, have your feelings about Marilyn changed since making the film? I think really they've grown. She, Emma's made me, doing the film has made me think about this extraordinary woman much, much more. 
she was so much more than the pin-up girl, mm -hmm. so much more than than the accomplished actress, which she right, was by right. the end. She was a very special person. And what I always notice when I get into the story of Marilyn Monroe is what a bright woman she actually was. Yeah. She, as I said, she, she was much, much more than the the, the, the pin-up girl that a lot yes. of people imagine her to have been. Well she said. knew about she, politics. She yeah. knew about literature. She knew about um, the, the body, the... And I love that um, your film did such a good well. job of showing us that other side of Marilyn. And where can we go for more information to learn about this and see that? It's streaming everywhere on Netflix at the moment around the world. Excellent. And it's actually the, in the top watch right now. Thank you so much for joining us. We're excited to have you. We appreciate that.